Welcome back fellow geeks. Now today I have a really cool printer that I want to thank Makeshaper out of North Carolina for allowing me to borrow and for allowing me to use for their workshop that I am hosting this Monday at Pali Proto in Marietta, Georgia. Now if you haven't RSVP'd for that, it's completely free. You can check it out at 3D Hubs Events Atlanta. And I'll have a link in the description for that. You can sign up. It's completely free. You also get a lot of different samples of Makeshaper's entire line along with their brand new line of flexible and semi-flexible parts. So it's definitely worth coming out. It's free. Sign up. Now, get to talking about the machine today. This is the Fusion F306. They currently only sell this model in the dual head even though this is the single head model. Uh, this is a very solid machine. As you can see here, it's really kind of just aluminum uh, frame. A bunch of zip ties to hold all of your wiring. Even though it's fully exposed, everything is hidden and is put together very well. The really cool thing about this is all of your connections throughout the entire machine are printed. So if you ever break something or you ever need a replacement part, you can easily print that part and your printer's back up and running. Now, they did replace this single head version with the new F400, which is slightly larger and is fully enclosed to help you with ABS prints better, as this doesn't exactly do great on ABS prints. But this does have a one cubic um, build volume, meaning it's a foot by foot glass build plate. So you can print almost any material that you want. A nice feature about this is I found the nozzle goes up to 300 degrees Celsius. So there's really no limit on the types of filaments you can extrude from this. And the print bed goes up to 135. So you can even get up there to some of the nylon A900s or A90s. Some of the copolyesters that Colorfab and Tolman may have and you won't have a problem with adhesion to the bed as this is a very nice glass bed. Now, to have a lot of prints to show off for Makeshaper's workshop on Monday, I've done a lot of prints in their flexible filament and a few different flexible filaments as they actually are selling a brand new adapter for this machine to print flexible filaments and it really cannot be easier. I've not had a single problem printing flexible filaments with their brand new adapter and the printer does not fight you at all. I have You don't have to use any glue on this print surface as I've printed a different, few different flexible filaments and I've not had a problem with adhesion. Actually I, I heat the bed up now and the prints stick relatively easily to this just by heating the bed up. Now there is one drawback that kind of goes against Fusion's whole uh, motto with their F306 is you have to print flexible filaments at a really slow pace, something around 35-40 millimeters a second, which kind of takes away their ability to print very fast and very large objects. Now another nice feature about this is it does come with an LCD controller. And as you can see here, you can monitor your temps for your hot end, your heated bed, your flow rate, your speeds, and gives you your STL model uh, file name along with the orientation of your print. This also allows you to can have a lot of controls over your printer while it's running or in its kind of in standby mode like this. First you have watch, takes you to your main menu, you have prepare which then you can move all axes, you can load and unload filaments as this is a Bowden printer so it does take a little bit of time to load it as you have to feed it all the way through and so it has the ability to help you out there as you said you can move axes and go back, move up and down come to control and you can actually set your temperatures your nozzle, your bed, your fan speeds there's really a whole host of um, temperatures and controls you have over this. You have your motion controls. Let's kind of scroll that through that real quickly. And you can read your card. 
which is very nice. So you have a bunch of prints there, a bunch of different Pokemon for a few different projects I'm working on right now. You want to see what I'm printing, stay tuned. And also, something that's very nice that I prefer is it runs off of full size SD cards. So you don't have to worry about having micro SDs to run your printer. You can just use a full size card. Now I use 2 gig cards because I found printers I've used in the past only work with 2 gigs. So I don't know what size SD card this is compatible with. If it's anything or if it's a 2 4 gig max. This is the E3D V6 hot end which in my opinion is one of the very best on the market which I, it's very nice to see that this machine has it I haven't had a problem with it clogging I haven't had any problems with it it is a Bowden um, V6 so it does have your PTFE tube that runs all the way over to your extruder as you can see you do not have an extruder mount on the actual head here another nice thing is this very large a blower right here fan to cool down your prints now this shroud right here is not something I did and it's not something that does come stock with E3D or the fusion is this a upgrade that make shaper did but it does come with a fan that comes down and does cool your prints now something else that's really nice about this is the precision for such a large machine as you can see here it's it's built very solid, but instead of using a bunch of belts and pulleys, this actually uses a nylon string that is wound all the way around the top of the printer, which is very precise. As you can see here, this is attached to the stepper motor on the front side and has a nylon wrapped around it. It's really nice. It gives a lot more precision over prints, especially for such a large machine that isn't really known, or large machines aren't really known for their high precision on very small parts. And this really does print parts any size of your build plate very nicely. I've had no complaints with the F306. Everything's worked out perfect for me. And it just goes to stands for the quality that they actually go for when building these. I mean, you can see the large rod here. Just to show how rigid this is. That there are three of these. And then you also have three threaded rods throughout the entire machine for even more precision. As you can see here, there's one in the back here. And there's also one just off to the side here behind this bar built very strongly and have a very solid believed to be either aluminum or steel build plate on the bottom here so your build plate does not get cockeyed does not break along with this very thick piece of glass now, as I was saying 50 degrees these stick pretty well it's not a problem with adhesion it just this is a really overall solid machine now, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I love answering questions. It's not a bother to me. If you have any recommendations for future videos, reviews, please feel free to comment. Send me an email at chrisbrown at 3dpgeek.com. Also, follow me on social media. I'll have Fusions and Make Shapers social media as a tag to this as well. Check them out. Some really cool companies. Really nice filament. Very high quality. And very nice machines on Fusion 3's part. Very solid. I've also had a chance to use the F400. It's a very solid machine. If you're looking for a very large format printer with nice precision, highly recommend checking them out. There's a link below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It really helps me understand what you, the audience, love. Thank you.